Fake chat is an online tool that lets you save fake text message conversations. Go to fakewats.com slash generator to start customizing your message. You'll find four primary tabs. Phone settings adjust some overall layout items on the screen. Just click to edit, or you can delete any of the items you don't want. And your changes will be reflected below. Battery options let you show or hide the phone's battery level. And the connection tab has Wi-Fi and signal information. You want to use the messages tab to customize the conversation that shows on the screen. I delete these lorem ipsum placeholders and then I'll build in my own conversation. I'll add a gray bubble first. Just input your message and add it to the conversation. Now I'll change the bubble slider to green and add in my next message. Again, just click add to conversation. Repeat this process until the conversation is complete. If you want to include a picture, Use the upload option and upload a picture from your computer. Once you have the phone screen looking just the way you want, click download image. Notice you get a PNG file that has the phone screen with the messages, but not the phone itself. We'll fix that in Google Slides, so for now just save it to your device. Now head over to Google Drive, or you can use a similar tool and create a new presentation. I'm just using slides because I know it integrates really well with ThingLink, which is where I am posting my clues. First, I'll right click on the slide thumbnail to change its layout to blank. Now, I need to add in a phone. You can use the insert menu to insert an image. And this one looks like it will work great. Now I will use insert again to upload my saved chat message from fake chat. I'll resize the image in the phone to make it look just right. Now I want to add a URL that takes users somewhere else. In this case to code emoji where an emoji will unlock a secret message I created. I'm going to copy this link to my code emoji while I'm here. I want to make it so that when users click on the phone, it'll take them to code emoji. So I'll just select the phone screen and click the chain link icon in the toolbar and paste in the link. Alternately, I can also add in a text box, type in some text, highlight the text and link that. My clue is pretty much ready to go. I kind of have a lot of white space that I can fill in with some hints or some other messages. To use the clue online, you'll need to title it and then visit the share button to change the permission so that anyone with the link can view it. You can now add this clue to your ThingLink digital breakout room using the procedures we looked at in other videos. You also have the option to download this slide as a PDF document or an image file, which gives you some other alternatives for sharing your clue as well. Fake Chat, in collaboration with Google Slides, lets you craft some fun clues for your digital breakouts.